Hey guys, Dina back with another unboxing collection video. I have been going through a ton of vintage Christmas and holiday decorations. I've been unboxing them and I almost forgot that I had a bag, a whole bag of Christmas die cuts. You guys, I haven't looked at this in months and I haven't really accumulated any new Christmas die cuts, vintage ones in a while. I did have my super duper unboxing of all of those Bystel Company. Oh my gosh, if you guys saw that video, you know how exciting that was. That was crazy. They were so nice enough to send me Halloween and Christmas and a little bit of Easter in there. And that was a lot of fun. If you haven't checked that out, definitely go check out that video. That company has so many wonderful paper decorations. But I have this whole bag of vintage Christmas die cuts I wanna share with you guys. This is gonna be fun because I don't remember what is in the bag. But first, you guys, I finally got my hands on some melted plastic popcorn decorations. And the cool thing about this, you guys, these are the same exact ones that my husband had growing up. I did not have any of these. Do you guys recognize these? These are called melted plastic popcorn. And this was made in America with pride. Merry Christmas. I don't even know how they made this. It must have just been some plastic decoration that they just put like a blowtorch on. No, I'm just kidding. Some, <laughs> some heavy heat and that would melt it this way, but it's kind of crinkly and it's, it's thin, so it's not too thick at all. But this stuff is cool. And I found this a couple months ago and the lady sold them to me for a quarter a piece. That was a ganga of a deal. And you guys, this is crazy. I have been looking and searching for these and it's so funny how just out of the blue they will pop up. But here's Santa. I'm just rambling. Here's Santa. <laughs> and here's Rudolph with his bright red nose. Oh my gosh. Same company made in America. And then it looks like these sold for $2.98 back in the day. And what's cool is they have a little hole and then you can just hang them just like a paper decoration. But they are very cool and I'm super excited to add them to my holiday decor. All right, so on to the mystery bag. Let's see what I picked up. Oh my gosh, oh you guys. This guy is great. Oh my goodness, how cute is he? Oh, this totally reminds me of something I would have had at my school. Oh my gosh, he's got some mistletoe. Oh, he wants to give some kisses out. He is so cute. There's no maker's mark on that, but oh my gosh, he is so cute. This must be from the same company. It's kind of the same illustration, same colors. We have a little boy sleeping. He is ready. He's dreaming about becoming Santa someday. <laughs> I love that green color. Oh my goodness. This will be fun to frame his little, what is that? Bed knobs and broomsticks. <laughs> it's coming apart a little bit. Then we have a little rabbit and a raccoon. This side is flocked, so it's fuzzy. This is cute. I love the colors. I'm going to say this one is from the 80s. Doesn't it seem a little 80s-ish? And again, whoa, <laughs> sliding away. <laughs> and again, this one, uh, it doesn't have a maker's mark on it. Ah, there's another one. I got two of those ones. Oh my goodness. We have a little snowman. Oh, his broom got bent. Here. There we go. And he's cool because he is a honeycomb decoration. Let's see if we can open up his belly and get the full effect. Oh, how cute. Oh, and he's got a little bell. He is sweet. Man, none of these have who made them. That's a shame. What's next? Oh, yes. This bag comes from an estate sale. So let's see what's in here. We have a kind of a pop-up nativity. Gloria and a Chelsea's Deo. And I think 
think you can Let's see. Gotta be gentle with it, but it's kind of 3D. Let me show you guys the back. Let's see, is there a date on this one? 1940. Let's see if you can see that. So this one's been around for quite some time. Then it looks like we have a Santa tag. Oh, this one says you can help yourself to Santa's pack if you join our Christmas club. Join one of these classes now. That's from New York. That's pretty cool. Then we have a card. I need to go put this in my Santa display. This is sweet. This is Gardner and Bonder ink, maybe. <laughs> and then let's see, is there a date on this? No date, but there is more illustration inside. A stocking full of wishes to hang upon your tree and to help make your Christmas as merry as it can be. Very sweet. This is beautiful. It says 91, made in the USA, but it does not say, it says, hang me on your Christmas tree. Greeting you in the happy spirit of Christmas and wishing you a glad new year. That is gorgeous. Then we have a Santa, probably came in a bouquet of flowers or a poinsettia plant or something. Just Santa and he's kind of got like gold foil. Then we have this little cherub. It says 1986 Merrimack Publishing Corp. So this is probably a reproduction of something from the Victorian era, I would assume. Christmas is coming. Oh, and then we have a honeycomb tissue bell. This is an old one, made in Japan. Let's see if it still opens. Oh yes, it does. Open bells carefully and in the way and bend one metal clip over to secure the panels. Decor Noel and it's flame proof. <laughs> now these are cool. These go, <laughs> these, oh, I don't know. They're pretty sticky here. I won't, <laughs> I won't take them, but I will separate them. These are little suction cup decorations and there's two that have been open and then there's two brand new ones inside, but those are cute. Should probably go stick that in the display too. All right, let's see what else is in the bag. Oh boy, from the bicycle company, you guys. I forgot I got this. It's another Santa with his beard. Oh my gosh, I love this and it's brand new. It's never even been used. Why? Why didn't people use this? This is so great. 1982 Santa face. Oh my goodness. Look at those cheeks and that nose. Oh my gosh, and the eyelashes. That is so great. I'm definitely gonna open, <laughs> open this and put this by the other Santa. Oh my gosh, when they make those beards out of the honeycomb, that is just the best. What do we got next? Okay, aww. A very sweet little angel girl and her kitten cat. This one does have someone. Gibson Greetings Inc. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. That's precious. Oh, I wish this is what I was doing right now. <laughs> I want a cookie. There's a little toy duck. This bag of goodies. He looks awfully comfortable. I wonder if he's home after this long night. What is this? Oh, how beautiful, you guys. Check out this Christmas card. Oh, you know what, you guys? This is actually pretty special. Let me open this up. And this says December 15th. And I'm not 100% sure what year this is. There's no way to tell. But what is cool about this, this is a pen pal letter 
that it sounds like somebody from Japan had a pen pal here in California and they would correspond with each other and it's so neat about them talking about the weather back and forth and how they're like desperately longing <laughs> for another letter. It's just so sweet and not only this card was actually made in Japan, which is really cool and their English is phenomenal. Even though they say it's not, it really is. It really is good. And not only that, but their handwriting is so nice too. I can't tell if it's a male or female, but it's pretty neat. Did you guys ever have a pen pal? I feel like I had one in second or third grade for a short while so they could mail a letter to us into our classroom and then we could write something back to them. And I think that lasted for a year or two and then I don't know what happened, just kind of fizzled out. <laughs> What is this? This says Hallmark. Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh, it's a winter wonderland. <laughs> Check this out. Oh my gosh, this I got at an estate sale. This is a huge diorama and it is so cool. This is Santa's little workshop and you've got his reindeer and his elves, you've got people working inside. Of course, you've got Santa and Mrs. Claus. He's checking out the roadmap. <laughs> the elves are looking at the addresses. This is so cool. I definitely need to find a place to display this. It's kind of big, but maybe I can put it somewhere. That's neat. I completely forgot about that. Here we have a Santa friend, and this is a huge Santa. And he is so cute. I'm gonna have to hang him on a door this year. Does not say who he's made by. Probably the biggest die cut of Christmas that I own. Here we have another honeycomb Santa. This one is very rainbow. This is a neat one. I put this one together. I got this at an estate sale. It says made in Japan, but it is a Santa and then you can put goodies in there. So I don't know if you want to put candy canes or little presents or green foliage, <laughs> whatever you want to stick in there. That is so neat. This next one is kind of big. What is this? This is, oh, Merry Christmas letters, I'm sure. Let's see, oh boy, here we go. Yes, Merry Christmas, seven foot blocked banner. And all of the letters are still in there because this seems to be brand new. They are falling out and I think there's obviously been a fold in it, but how cool is that? It even has the old 80s yarn in it. This was made by Peck Incorporated back in 1987. So that is very beautiful. Got all of those Christmas presents and candles, bells. That's gonna be fun to display someday. Got a couple more. <laughs> this one doesn't wanna come out of the bag. <laughs> come on, oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at how classic that is. Oh man, that is a beautiful Santa picture right there. Oh my gosh, look at all of the detail. It's got a Christmas tree and a doll. This one does have some tape on it, but I have a trick for getting that off. Wow, that is in really good condition too. I mean, look at the back. This does not say who it was made by, but very, very cool graphics. <laughs> These last ones are stuck in the bag. <gasps> it's Rudolph, oh my gosh, it's reindeer. And there's two! Oh wow, oh this is gorgeous, you guys. This has gotta be the same company. Oh, you guys, it's that last one. I wonder if, it was probably the reindeer too big, but I was gonna say, Maybe you could have it like this, but the size just isn't right. Check that out. Look at his collar and the bells. Nice. 
That is so gorgeous. The spots are really neat too. That's cool, there's two of them. We have Frosty, the snowman, and his little doggy friend. This one's flocked. <laughs> Another no-namer. I bought a lot of these off of an old retired school teacher. She uh, had a whole pile of them, Halloween and Christmas and a couple of Valentines, I think. I don't think she had any Easter, but she had them all together. And so I bought a lot of them. She goes, oh, I'm so glad you're getting those to decorate with them. I was worried people were gonna, you know, go, who would want those? And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, me, please. <laughs> Here we have Santa again. This one looks like one you'd find at your school, right? Oh, I'm not even showing you the bright colored side. A lot of these are double-sided, which is cool. I love the snow underneath the sleigh. Look at how cool that is. And I think there may be one or two left in the bottom. Let's see. Yes. And a couple of reindeer. <gasps> the Bicycle Company, 1978. I love their little expression, and those are double-sided. This is cool. Maybe this, maybe these could go together. That seems a little more size appropriate, doesn't it? <laughs> well, guys, that's it for the vintage holiday Christmas die cuts, paper decorations, melted plastic popcorn. <laughs> that was so much fun to look at. Again, I'm going to go set some of these up right now, and keep decorating because I've got a lot of work to do in a short time to get it done. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click that notification bell so you are notified when the next exciting video comes out, whatever that may be. And we will see you guys next time.